Greetings and thank you once again for giving us this privilege of coming your way and spending a few moments in the Word of God and in prayer. We just come to encourage you, to let you know that God is for you. He is fighting for you. So no matter what you're facing, remember God is causing you to come through. This week we're talking about being full of new wine, being filled with the Holy Spirit, living a life that is full of the Holy Spirit. We explained that to be filled with the Spirit simply means that you and I are living constantly under the influence, overpowered by and in subjection to the person of the Holy Spirit, His presence and His work. So we're constantly living this way. What we want to point out today is why is this so important? Every believer is supposed to live this way, live full of new wine, live filled with the Spirit all the time. And why is this important? Because it is only as we live this way that you and I are changed into the image of Jesus Christ, or we are changed into Christ-likeness. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 3 and verse 18 that the ultimate objective of the work of the Holy Spirit in your life and mine is to transform us, is to change us, is to enable us to go through a process of change, of metamorphosis, so that we can become more and more like Jesus. 2 Corinthians 3.18 says, But we all with an unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image, from, from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of God. So by the Holy Spirit, we are being changed into the same image or into the likeness of the Lord whom we are beholding or whom we are looking at or gazing towards. So it is the Holy Spirit who is transforming us. But the only way that this is possible is if you and I are full of new wine, if you and I are living a spirit-filled life. That means we are willingly bringing ourselves in subjection to, yielding to, coming under the influence of the person, presence, and work of the Holy Spirit. So this requires our willing submission to Him. And we'll talk more about this in the week, in the day, days to come. But what I want to highlight today is the purpose of being full of new wine, the purpose of living filled with the Spirit, is so that we can become like Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us learn how to live under the influence of the person of the Holy Spirit so that he can transform us to be more like Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.